Okay, so this attack I don't have problems with. It's um, it's just the, the one where they tilt the bones is really awkward to do. It's not hard, bro. All you gotta do is just hit them when they're facing away from you. When, when the bones are facing away from you, you hit them, and then boom. Still doesn't mean I like it, though. <laughs> also, it feels weird trying to unlock everything in Mario Kart Wii because I'm so used to, to just dolphin, it, dolphin cheat coding it all in. Yeah. Also, uh, also, this floor is going to get chroma creed to hell, <laughs> so that's going to be fun to look at later. Oh yeah, my favorite. I think you should probably make your background a different color or something. <laughs> Alright, fine. We'll give the stupid background a different color. Yep. Config... Configure graphics, click... Make it like a slightly click. darker shade of red. <laughs> okay. Sure, okay. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. And then, uh... And I'm just gonna walk around here and just kill all these enemies. Let's get XP plus I'm level twenty six. I'm one level away from uh, ranking up. Wait, Seb, so what what what's the hex uh, code of the color that you just picked? <laughs> what? What's the hex code of the color you just picked? I don't know what those wait wait, actually I might they might attack me, hold up. Oh yeah, we gotta we gotta let them attack first. <laughs> oh here's the attack that I don't like. <laughs> there. Okay, well, that, that time it was pretty easy. I can figure. Graphics. Alright, let's see. Right. Um, 3D000. Zero, uh, zero, zero. Okay. Wait, that's, that's what I have it set to right now, actually. Is this the color you use? No. Uh, I, I mean, I, I I, I, that's about what I use, actually. I just use red, because red's my favorite color. Yeah, I, I like red, too. Bro, my brother, he changes his favorite color, like, every other year. Like, it went from, like, <laughs> green to red to yellow, and now it's blue. <laughs> Boo. <laughs> Boo. Why, why do you gotta change his color all the time? I don't know. All I know is that it's been consistently red, and my consistently least favorite color is, like, orange or green. Because there's, like, the... Because, like, they're the two awkward colors to me yeah. like orange is just the awkward middle because orange like you said the awkward middle shot because everyone likes either red or yellow no one likes orange um I never, i've never been anybody that likes yellow honestly mm. also jacob you want you know how we joke on twitter yeah <laughs> well you want to know the theme when it comes to social media what up chat See, that's now you know how I feel. <laughs> yeah, it's whatever. At least it was Paper Mario. Because if it's with the bros, now it's a problem. But they like posting their own L's. Like when, when like the shit goes wrong in a relationship, like they like posting their own L's. Mm. For example, there was one where it was like, I thought my boyfriend was cheating on me. But I slept with his dad only to find out he shot a son of a marriage prize and I ruined it. He's trying and to like, do what? <laughs> He was trying to set up a marriage proposal, and he thought, and she thought he was cheating, so she slept with his dad. What the fuck? <laughs> I'm like, why do I gotta know this? I mean, that's just like social media in general, really. People will just post the stupidest shit and expect you to care about it. Yeah, here's another one. This one was like, it wasn't an L, but it was like, women should start, like sleeping with men just for sex and then never talk to them again and <laughs> even though that's like what the general demographic of men do isn't that just isn't that just um prostitution yeah or there was one where i was like oh yeah i invited him over i cooked for him gave him like the sloppiest night yes those were the exact words she is <laughs> let her let him fold me like an origami project again yes those are the words she used and then called wow. him an Uber and blocked him. I we women are I, learning the game. I, I seriously question that. <laughs> <laughs> what, the wording or what she did? Uh, both. <laughs> Alright, wait, this is, this is my, one of my personal favorites. Woman stabs man 37 times because she saw photos 
of him doing nasty things when, with what she thought was another girl. It was just her when she was skinnier. I don't know. I I'm glad I'm not on this part of social media, honestly. I oh, know. I just watched a video on it because it was funny. Oh, very food me. Also, why do the boomerang bros look gray? Why does their armor look gray? Isn't it supposed to be blue? Didn't we just talk about how the boomerang bros and TTYD are gray? <laughs> they are? Yeah. Apparently, the iconic. I, what, I hate. Okay, that's what I hate. Like, why are they the iconic blue? Um, I don't think Boomerang Bros were blue yet, like in Mario. Wait, are you... when were Boomerang Bros introduced? I know they're, they're in Mario. I, I know they're in Mario Three. Oh, you know what? This is gonna turn into the fucking Koopaling discussion again from last episode. <laughs> God. <laughs> God damn it, Jacob! <laughs> <laughs> but you so know Koopa what? Likes... I'm okay with this. I want to know when the Boomerang Bro got their iconic blue design. Because. Can you agree they look better in blue than they do in like this weird gray? No, I do not agree. <laughs> you what? I don't agree. I don't think they look better. Oh, you know what? Yeah, you know what? They actually, the reason why they're gray in TTYD is because they didn't have their blue look yet. In the artwork for Mario 3, they're actually gray. And then in like their sprites, they're green. Oh, so in Mario 3, they just like copy-pasted what they did with Hammer Bros. The first game that they were blue was apparently Mario... New Super Mario Bros, I think. Yeah. Wait, Boomerang... Wait, what? Say that again? Boomerang Bros are in New Super Mario Bros, and that's when they're blue. That's like the first mainline game they're blue in. Wait, actually, here's a question. Were Fire Bros in... When were Fire Bros introduced? Also Mario 3. I don't remember there being Fire Bros in Mario 3. There are like three Fire Bros in the whole game. <laughs> oh. Wait, are they all in the boss levels? Well, not the boss levels, but like those levels you see in like Mario U where they're just like enemies that you have to kill? Um, nah. Mm. Also, the, also, um, this Chroma Key is annoying me, so I'm just gonna probably turn it off. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> I think I yeah, think I think it looks a... better on uh Aaron's side where cause he I think in his case the dark green actually is easier to chroma key. Oh. Actually here's something. What? I've been rocking your mod for a while, and while yes it's fucked, I can still see some of the colors. And I just wanna say the TTYD colors look so much more vibrant than the colors in this game. Like the Goombas have like these nice bright brown shoes compared to like the like the shit brown shoes they have now. Oh yeah, like well, because Goombas and TTYD have red shoes. Oh, it's red. I thought, yeah. I, just, I thought it was just more a brighter brown. Nah, it's red, and they also have like yellow. They have like yellow bodies instead of like this the weird whitish kind that they normally have. The dry bones have a unique design, as you can kind of see <laughs> from the yeah, broken like... mess that it is. Oh shit! Oh wow! And that's without the shiny ring. All right, just don't get hit, otherwise you're bit you're basically dead. <laughs> when did Fire Bros get their iconic design? I think that might have also been Mario, uh, New Super Mario Bros. Yeah, all of the f all of the bros are like just black in the original. They have like black armor. Just they do different things. Okay, this attack is scary. Is it... Oh shit! Yeah, you're dead. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ! It's like instantaneous. All right, I'll just use a one of DX as wherever. Actually, the technically the fire bros are red in Mario Three. It's just their whole skin is red as well, which I think is kind of cool. Well, here's the thing. I like when they have different colors because it's easy to tell them apart because if you're standing from a distance so they can't see you and you're just sit there and you think, oh, look, a hammer, bro, because they're all black <laughs> or whatever. And you walk up and hey, hammer. And then it just chucks a boomerang and you're like, what the hell? I thought that was a hammer, bro. Why the hell <laughs> did it just chuck a, a boomerang at me? Yeah, and then we eventually got the ice, bro. <laughs> 
I forget the Ice Bros exist half the time because they're like so irrelevant. Yeah, even though they're pretty cool. No pun I mean, intended. They just... Oh wow, thanks. I feel like Bomb Derby would also work against these guys because it does critical nah. damage. Yeah, I prefer the Rocket. Yeah, the Rocket's so fun. I, I keep using it. Like, it's still so fun to use. By the way, I watched this Whoa. video about some guy ranking all the bros moves, and he put Mega Thwonk at number one. I saw that same video. I saw that exact same video. Yeah, you did? Wow. Yes, I did. That is I remember terrible. He... Yeah, I saw that exact same video, and I'm <laughs> like... Well, I mean, honestly, I just find it funny that he put basically all the partners in time... I mean, all the partners in time bros attacks at the bottom of the list. I mean, the partners in time attacks are kind of mid anyway, I agree. Yeah, they're all kind of just like, whatever. Well, that's just like the inherent flaw with partners in time, is that all of the bros attacks are items. So you have a... Yeah, because... You, so, you basically have to buy bros attacks. I saw Shari Fai's video where he went everything wrong, and he... Who joined? Yo mama. Jacob, that is not your mom. <laughs> no, I said yo mama. Oh, wow, wow, nice, nice aiming. You didn't even hit it. I killed one of them. So what did Char I5 say? <laughs> he said that because of their items, he thought they were like really hard to get. So he was straight up just not use them outside of like he straight up just he was saving them for the final boss. <laughs> so for every fight, oh. he was just using jumps. And they were dragged on for like 20 minutes. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So your mic works. I mean, that's that's kind of just like an inherent flaw with like um, like JRPGs is when people like tend to just not use all of their special shit. Yeah, because they save it for. But I used to play like that. I used to only use jumps. Now I just kind of just like you see, I kind of just use them whenever. Yeah, and I think I think um, these games are way more fun because of that. And like I designed. Um, oh, <laughs> now there's another boomerang, bro. I, um, what did I, well, yeah, like, that's how I play Paper Mario and other Mario RPGs. Like, I just like to spam my special moves now because it's really fun. And it also just gets the battles over with quicker. It's like, sure, yeah, I run out of, um, like, FP faster or BP. But, you know, that's, that's part of the fun as well is managing all of your resources. Unless you're like me who just wasted all their, uh, level ups into, uh, FP at the beginning. <laughs> oh yeah, I that's typically how I play Paper Mario is I just get like one or two FP level ups over the course of the whole game when I really need it. And then after that, yeah, it's so just you, all BP. I remember whenever I play that game, I just like go one at a time. I go HP, FP, BP, HP, FP, BP. Well, that's not a bad way to play either. That's how I played um, TTYD during like my middle years. <laughs> And then you evolved and just... Well, oh, nice. I evolved and then I'm just a BP-only player. Yeah, you don't even focus on FP or HP. Yeah, F like, F and then... like, I got the occasional FP level, but I'm thinking, like, man, I run out of FP too quickly now. <laughs> because, like, a lot of moves later game might cost, like, 4 or 5 FP, so then I'm, like, running out of FP if I only have 10. So I'll be like, yeah, sure, 15 FP is good enough. And also, I didn't that know you could do that. That boomerang bro just got fucked. <laughs> I didn't even know you could do that. Yeah. I think that's every enemy in this room. <laughs> yeah, just this room. Alright, your your leaf rank now. Uh, let's do hammerhead. Sure, you do you. <laughs> yeah, you do you, Jacob. Uh, do we want to talk about your old save file? <laughs> yeah, I mean, then, yeah, I don't think I can talk when my old save file just looks like absolute shite. Oh yeah, Rachel, we don't talk about it. That's just kind of an uh, inherent flaw we live with. <laughs> that, that's the, that's going to be the uh, the title of the episode, and an inherent flaw. Because <laughs> I've said it like three times now. 
You should have added we live with, an inherent flaw we live with. Nah, it'll just be an inherent flaw in general. I think this way you go first. I don't think it really matters which way you go. Hey, look, some beans. Some beans that you hey, can miss. Missable... <laughs> Mi I know, they're great. Missable beans. And I did a, I did a, I did a count. All of the, there are three of each kind of bean in this castle, so there are no coins, which means you can miss plus three of each stat. <laughs> hey, like a dry bone. Boner. Hey, Jacob, look, it's the big tail Goomba. Yo, the best enemy in the game, dude. Oh, he did the fake out that I love. <laughs> Rachel, I told you we don't ask questions here. We kind of accept the inherent flaw. <laughs> Alright, we have a fourth inherent flaw. Ah, great. Anyways, I tried to, um, fuck around with, um, the Star Rod editor today, and, uh, it was miserable. It kept, like, I kept getting errors and shit, and I was just sad all day, so... You were sad. Yeah, I was sad all day, so my day's been kind of shit. Just because, uh... Ooh, wow. I didn't even know you... Terrible. No, it's that... So right now that I've clocked in this, the first time you fight, the, the first time I found a dry bones that isn't just by itself. Yeah, it usually is like it's the one big dry. It's the one. I always said big dry bones. The one big dry bones. The big tail dry bones. Oh, this is gonna be fun. There's a observe lot of gumbas. I, yeah, observe as I. Sk these are not gumbas. Oh, that's a dry boner. Exactly. More boner. Uh, you know, one of my favorite Mario clips ever? What? It's in the Mario movie. It's when Bowser's explaining his plan to his minions. He's like, oh, I'm gonna ask Peach out to marry me. And one of the Koopas <laughs> goes, what if she says... One of, the Koop one of the Koopas goes, what if she says no? Bowser just burns him to a crisp and he turns into a dry bone. Look at this. He just dies. <laughs> he just... Dies. <laughs> I, I, I just love how ca that was the funniest joke in the entire movie. Oh. I just love how casually it's played. It's just like, oh yeah, like Bowser just does this whenever someone asks something stupid. He just <laughs> burns them to the first. Because they'll live anyways. Yeah. He just gets so pissed off that he burns them. It kind of reminds me of like a Despicable Me joke. Like I remember in the first Despicable Me, when the Gru's explained the plan, oh one God, of the minions just- we don't talk about. It. I remember when Gru's. Oh god! I remember when Gru's <laughs> oh playing the plan. One of the minions pulls out a rocket launcher and just shoots at a couple other minions. Wow. All right. So how, what's the plan here? Well, how do I just? Do I just? You just run against okay. it. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Good to know. Just uh, oh, okay. Run against wind. Well, you, you are faster than the wind resistance. <laughs> the wind resistance. I wonder, I wonder, you know, something I'm thinking, I wonder if this game is faithful enough to, like, keep the exact design of how this looks minus the sand when you go with the Neo Bowser, or it just looks completely different. Um, I, since I kind of messed around in Neo Bowser Castle recently on my complete save file, it is very similar. The, lay fair, the, the, supposed, the layout is extremely similar. It's supposed to be very similar. It's the same castle. It's not one to one though, but it, it does have a lot of the. It, it basically has the same layout. It's just like remixed. Yeah, now you see why I hate that attack because they do shit like that. <laughs> it's whatever, bro. Oh, what are you gonna do? Oh yeah, the big tail Goomba. <laughs> Wake up, Paper Mario. STDs aren't real. Oh my god. Yeah, I fucked up the attack. Yay, great. That's great. Alright, I'm just gonna... Yeah, drop top. Yeah, the one of the two attacks brought over from Dream Team died. Not gonna lie, 
because I played this game before I played Dream Team, I thought these two were completely original to this game. Oh. Well, if you think about it, there's actually four attacks that are from Dream Team. We don't talk about 3D Red Shell and uh, Fire Flower. <laughs> well, and I, I, mean, I mean, the Fire Flower is different enough in this game because it works better than it does in Dream Team. Well, 3D Red Shell... Well, here's oh. the thing, 3D Red Shell is just an exact copy. Uh, Fire Flower is infinitely better in this game because you have to do that stupid charge mechanic. Yeah. That's the first time we've seen Paper Mario's HP at all in this game. <laughs> Yeah, you're never gonna see that otherwise. Yep, uh, I love I love the dry bones they, when they do that. <laughs> you get shocked for your your sins. Yeah, <laughs> Zeus has had enough with your bullshit. Jacob, what? Have you heard of the Twitch thought epidemic? Uh, I mean, there's been bots on Twitch for a long time. Uh, wait, what, what, did you say bots or thoughts? Bots. No, I said thoughts. Oh, thoughts. What, you mean the, you mean the bathtub, uh, meta? No, even worse. Artistic nudity, because in one of the Twitch Terms and Service updates, twerking, pole dancing, and artistic nudity, I say that in quotation marks, is now allowed. So they allow Never, uh, they allow boobs on Twitch now. Yeah, for the you know the web stuff. Uh, no, only only two D booties get no no only two D booties get banned. Oh. So I can still so I'll still get banned for playing Honey Pop. Gotcha. <laughs> but but but, yeah. but 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 chicks can come out flashing their boobs and they don't get banned. Real fair. Real fair snitch. Twitchin'. Twitches snitchin'. Twitches get stitches. Yeah, because here's the thing. Twitch Just... is a... If, if you remember correctly, Twitch is a website for 13 over. Yep. Because basically what happened was a bunch of, like, OnlyFans models were going to Twitch and, like, testing the waters. It was working. They weren't getting banned. So, you know what's the <laughs> next logical step? What? Uh, VTubers tried it out. Didn't work for them. They got banned. They got banned. <laughs> so, Serves them right. Yeah. So yeah, uh, 3D biddies are allowed. 2D ones aren't. Wow. Twitch is really bass backwards, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, you're right. Like, why are you allowing the real titties, but the fake titties I can't have? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that's, ooh, that's, a, that's, a... that's a good card. Oh yeah, you know I still haven't edited. I still haven't given you a new um battle theme yet. <laughs> All right, give me Hammerhead. What are you gonna go with Paper Mario? Also Hammerhead. Jumpman. Oh Jumpman. I thought yeah. you were. I thought you were gonna give him like Star Point Max or something. No. I'll save that for Rainbow Rank. Hmm. Hmm. Jumping out with Paper Mario actually sounds like a good idea. Alright, too, too bad it's not in my rank up rank route, you know? You remember back in like 2015 where people were like, bro, if, you, if you're mad at OnlyFans models, then what, what is your problem? Like, let them do their thing. Wait, OnlyFans existed in 2015? I think it. What the hell? You think OnlyFans is? Uh, like I, I, fe I still feel like it's pretty recent. Like it came out like three years ago. All right, time to look at that question up. When did OnlyFans come out? It's <laughs> great. Um, it was founded in 2016. Yeah, well, I didn't start hearing until about until like 2020. Okay, so wait, wait. yeah. Oh wow, that counted. Oh good. I can get rid of one of Bowser's eyes. Yay! So as I was saying, uh, so what they did was, so back in 2015, people were like, let Twitch, I mean, let OnlyFans, or well, 2016 or whatever, screw you, let OnlyFans be OnlyFans, and and that's fine because it's an 18 plus site. Now people yeah. are like, why are you not letting Twitch 
thoughts be Twitch thoughts. Oh, I don't know, maybe because the website is 13 plus, so 13 year olds are allowed on there, which is a horrible idea. Yeah. I mean, I don't let 13 okay. year olds on my stream to begin with, but whatever. Well, yeah, well, these Twitch thoughts are letting the 13 year olds come because more views. <laughs> more views? That is a terrible thing to say. <laughs> it, I know it's terrible, but, like, I, it ain't me. Hold on, give me a second. Oh, it's the funny, the funny yeah. trumpet music. Oh, it works now. <laughs> I just, I just took the battery out. Oh, all right. <laughs> well, whatever works. Anyways, I think I could probably chroma key this room because this chrome, this room's fine. <laughs> this puzzle is. It was a little annoying. It took me a little bit to figure out what you gotta do fast enough. And also, surprisingly, this room is holding a much steadier frame rate than the other ones usually. Let me see, what does this do? I think that, uh. Oh yeah, that turns the fans around. Alright, this is easy to figure out. You press it twice. It is easy. Oh. I was just really slow about it the first time. Uh, I don't know why that would ever be a hard puzzle to figure out. Like, once you see what the puzzle does... Oh, uh, yeah. cool. I think it's probably because yeah. like, I goofed off in this room a bit. Oh, wait, so you're not going to Put me down. I mean, not in the lava. Put me down. Here's a question. <laughs> why do they only kidnap her? Like, what... Why don't they ever- I, I get why they don't kill Peach. Why don't they kill Toadette? Like, what use does she serve? <laughs> She'll be a worthy sacrifice. I know, like, we need her and, like, the story needs her or whatever. But, like, on a real note, like, why do we need Toadette? <laughs> why do they need Toadette alive? Like, they could've just kidnapped her and killed her and made our mission that much harder. And no, I don't care. This is a kids' game. Would have been, would have been big brain on the the Mr. Fly guy there. Yeah. Just... <laughs> oh, okay. And now you gotta fight him above lava. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta fight these guys above the lava. You know. Oh yeah. Hey, hey, look! It's the Dry Bowser background. <laughs> Oh, that is weird. <laughs> I never, I almost, I never got to see these guys attack much when I, when I fought it, them in this room. I picked the wrong one. Why, guy? <laughs> By the way, um, Zach's gonna be very sad about this, but uh, I accidentally deleted all of the progress for Paper Mario Down Bad Edition. When I, I don't know what that is. Uh, so basically, I was working on a Paper Mario hack where all of the tattles in the game are rewritten to Goombario being horny. <laughs> and that's why it's called Down Bad Edition. So basically, any woman that Goombario sees, he tries to hit on. And then any of the guys, he'll just like say like, hey, can you help me get a chick? <laughs> And that's the entire- that's the entire game. It's just Goombario with funnier dialogue. Wait, so if we kill them here, are we just gonna fall into the lava? Oh. No? That'd be too realistic. Convenient. <laughs> yeah, I think what happened was we started the fight and they're like, wait, we're above lava, can we do this above land even though I could fly so it'd be really hard for you guys? <laughs> oh hey, look, it's Bower. It's Bowser Jr. Bauer Juniors. Banger music, by the way. But I can't. Oh God. <laughs> I forgot how cursed Paper Peach. I know they all are cursed, but like, especially her. Also, how are you comfortable sleeping on your shell? Your shell has spikes. <laughs> oh, look, can I just say, Bowser Jr. is way better at kidnapping Peach than Bowser is. He's got that, um, 
Yeah, he's got that childhood creativity to him. I don't know. Yeah, well, well, yeah uh, there's a funny story. So I play a game called Clash Royale. In it, there's a set of cards you can get called goblins. And they have mm -hmm. established lore that the older they get, the dumber they are. So, like, baby goblins are, like, super genius. So, like, Stewie from Family Guy. <laughs> sure. <laughs> but, uh, the, my point here is that the two times Bowser Jr. has kidnapped Peach are, like, really smart compared to anything Bowser's ever done. Mm, I'm assuming the other time is Mario Sunshine, right? It, well, it's, well, wait, wait, that was, like, isn't that the main one? That's the first one. What's the second one you're thinking of? Well, be this game. No, he's stupid. Oh. What was the other time ba Bowser Jr. kidnapped her? Oh yeah, New Super uh, Mario Bros. Yeah, because in Sunshine, he just disguises himself as Mario, gets him framed so he can't be there, and just yoinks her. Yep. And then in DS, he distracts Mario so he's far away from Peach. Just yoinks Peach again and doesn't even leave a note. <laughs> he just runs off with it. her. Yeah, because that's the thing with Bowser. He leaves notes, like, letting him know, Oh yeah, I, I, I got your bitch, bro. I got your bitch. I got your bitch, Mario. Just gotta come get her, bro. That is really funny. Mar Bowser's been doing that since Mario 3. Like, you beat, you beat Ludwig, and he's like, Lol, I have your princess now. Come get her in my house. Like, what are, like, some of Bowser's- Cause I saw a video where they ranked how smart each time Peach got kidnapped was. And, like, the elite tiers were, like, Sunshine, DS, and I forget what the third one was. Oh, I have not seen that video yet. What, like... You, that sounds like you've heard of it, and it's on your to-watch list. It is, because I've seen the other ones. I've seen the ones where, like, how useless Bowser is. Oh, yeah, I've seen those too. Yeah, how useless Mario is, how useless Luigi is. I I seen some for like Sonic, like how useless Sonic is. Yeah, I saw the Doctor Eggman Mario. one, <laughs> and like he's peak, he peak, he peaks in in a Sonic Unleashed and Sonic CD. <laughs> I always find I always find it funny that back in the day, Sonic CD was a hard game to get. So everyone's like, "Wow, this is really underrated gem." But nowadays, it's pretty easy to get, and you're like, wow, this game's kind of shit, not gonna lie. I, I don't know, I, I played only, or I, play, I played CD, and I thought it was just kind of okay. I love the music, like, it's still some of my favorite Sonic music. The music, music is the saving grace of that game. It has shit music, which, let's face it, Sonic games don't have shit music. Yeah. But the point is, if it, is that everything else about it kind of sucks. I think the only Sonic games I can genuinely say have, like, bad music are, like, the Game Gear games. At least some well, of them. because... Well, it's just because it's like, it's just a released music from the, from every other series, but like, it's compressed. I mean, the, then again, but the, but some Sonic Game Gear music is good, like Triple Trouble soundtrack is good. Um, Sonic Chaos has some good songs. Um, here comes, the, oh, he just, he just flattened you, bro. I've never seen him attack. <laughs> well, I had to. I had to see him attack because uh, I need that achievement, bro. So I think the next bros attack we're gonna get is Balloon Blast. Balloon I think. Blast. I think. I don't know, because I don't know when you get Balloon Blast in this game. Oh, I know when you get it. You get it after you beat King Boo, and on your way to uh, Flutter. There's just a random toad, and he has, and he, you know he you know if a toad has a side quest for you if he has three dots above his head, you talk to him. He's like, hey yo, we saw Nabbit somewhere. You want to go get him? Oh, you gotta and talk to like, a random ass toad to get a new bros attack. Yeah. Well, that's stupid. Well, no he, wonder he got, I didn't get that. Well, no, it's really obvious where he is because he's like by himself in a room. Oh. He's in <laughs> Gloomy. He's in a. He's in like East Gloomy Woods. He's on your way to uh, Flutter. And yet, I still never found that in my playthrough. Yeah, and it oh, it is that stupid mini game with the clouds. Basically, what you have to do is you have to corner him up in the clouds. Mm, I hope that'll be fun. Cause yeah, I don't know. I, I don't have good memories with Nabbit and clouds. <laughs> what what other incident is there with Nabbit and clouds that I'm not aware of? I don't know, but I just remember hating that part. I was like, I don't want to deal with Nabbit, bro. I'm just gonna leave. 
And that's why I never got that bros Wait. attack. Here's a question. Is, does this game predate Mario U? No. Why would it? Because Nabbit's in this game. <laughs> I was gonna say, because like, if it doesn't, does that mean this is Nabbit's first game? <laughs> no, it's not Nabbit's first game. The only reason why Nabbit is in this game is because of Mario U. In fact, that's why most of the enemies are... I mean, remember, this game also came out after 3D World, which is why the fucking Ant Troopers are in this game. <laughs> well, this game only has the Ant Troopers in Nabbit. It's like... The there's only only two exclusive to Wii U enemies. Uh, I can't think of any other 3D World enemies. I mean, if you want, I mean, if we want, we could would count the bullies as 3D World enemies because they have the 3D World design. I don't count bullies. But we don't know the other Mario 64 enemies. Yeah, you're stupid if you count bullies. <laughs> and um, what else? Like, I genuinely- so every I, I, other I, I, enemy comes pre-Wii U. I know, like, Bruisers are from Mario Wii. Um, the Mausers are also Mario Wii. Yep. Uh, there's no Ice Bros in this game, so that Wait, doesn't I just count. Remembered. Isn't there, like, a stupid minigame you have to do before you fight the Juniors? Yes, there is. <laughs> and it's not too bad. Let's it's see. just that one toad mission. Yeah, it's kind of like a toad mission, yeah. Um, you just have to stealth it. I guess Biddy Bugs are from Mario 3D Land. Yeah, um, Biddy Bugs are 3D Land. Sand Mark hey, no, is I'm also Bitty 3D Bu Land. I'm Biddy Bugs Wii. Mm. Maybe Are they in like World 7 or am I hallucinating? Um, they're in 3D Land and 3D World, I'm pretty sure. Mm. Actually, I just had a thought. I just remembered another woman owl. <laughs> what? Was. It was this one where she's like, oh yeah, uh, I was talking to this guy. I told him my body counts in the triple digits and he ghosted me. Uh, well, it's... I don't really know what to it's, say about let me that. Just say it's impressive. How do you get triple digits? Triple digits of what exactly? A... Huh? Triple digits of what exactly? Repeat that one more time, your mic cut out. Triple digits of what? <laughs> Body count. Oh. How the fuck? <laughs> well, here's the thing, correct me if I'm wrong. Body count isn't like just the amount of times you've been in bed, like, but it's like different people you slept with. That's crazy. Wait, wait, he repeats? Wait, oh. wait, wait. Yeah. He repeats? Yes, he does. Also, should I, uh, should I, should I reconnect on Discord if my mic keeps cutting out? This is fine, it's whatever. I'll give it a try. Went to go jack off. <laughs> there we go. Alright, wake up, Mario. Wake up, dude. I was just saying, uh, is, is, my question is, is, like, is it every time you just sleep with anyone? So, like, if I sleep with the same person three times, it's three separate people for the body count? I'm assuming a body count or is, is like, different people. So, basically, if you sleep with someone three times, you, you, your body count is still just one. Uh, I, I assume so. I don't know. <laughs> I, I, I've never had this thought until now. <laughs> Me neither. Oh, I'm assuming your body count is zero. Yeah, zero. Yeah, because you're a long-distance relationship. Yep. So, uh, fun, fun night-night time is, isn't exactly accessible. <laughs> also, according to the Paper Jam bestiary, shiny enemies don't show up until after Twinsy Tropics the first time. Which is oddly specific. Like, wait, but like you have to make it through Twinsy Tropics, or like once you get to Twinsy Tropics, then they're there. Once you get out of Twinsy Tropics, like once you get past the Koopas, that's apparently when they start showing. That's when Shiny Enemies start showing up, apparently. Because I'm looking at the list, and it goes Koopa Troopa, Paper Koopa Troopa, and then Shiny Paper Goomba. 
Peach, get those items for me, bitch. <laughs> hey, Peach, can you can you go do some uh, manual? Wait, are there Mecha Koopas right here? No, that's not until Neo Bowser Castle. This is the room where you fight Kamek later. Yeah, I can't wait. <laughs> The three D, the three D book that we saved. Do not get back until the end of the game. Because plot. Our team is just idiots. Because that's the quote unquote plot. Also, why like we had? Also, why is Paper Blowjob Junior in its clown car, but Normal Blowjob Junior is not? That's I don't weird. know. My question is: I remember that after you beat the Bowser Juniors, like the, they're knocked out and the Bowsers are over there and they're confused for a second. Mm -hmm. All the while, the book is lying there with no one able to grab it. <laughs> Even though the bros could have went over and grabbed it real quick. Yeah, they could just sneak on over, it's like, yoink. But nah, they just sit there and watch. And I love how the Bowsers also get, like, absolutely pissed that we beat the shit out of their sons. Well, I mean, reasonably, like... But, like, like you're saying that, like, I, mean, it's out of I mean, like... What other game does Bowser get pissed off about his son getting kicked, like his ass kicked though? <laughs> what other room is? What other game is Bowser in the same room with you when you beat him up? Um, I don't say DS because that doesn't count because they're both just fighting you, so he has oh. something to grieve afterwards. Oh, you were gonna say DS, weren't you? I was about to say DS. <laughs> I was like, don't even try it. Oh, here's Magic Koopas. I don't think that just occurred to me. Bowser's dead for most of, uh, for most of DS. <laughs> yeah, I, like, he that is. Never, like, that thought never pierced my head, but he's, like, straight up dead for most of the game. I, I was gonna bring that up at some point. How do I navigate this? So... Oh, okay, I didn't know you could just sneak on- you can squeeze on through those guys. Okay, now how do I navigate this? Uh, you gotta follow behind... Oh, I mean, you're- you're- you're finding new <laughs> ways to do this room. I'm <laughs> <laughs> just like, uh, this one you gotta be like, yeah. Uh, you gotta like, sneak around that one Mecha Koopa. Yeah, pummel his ass. Oof. Oof. <laughs> you got Bowser Jr. next, so try looking in a different room. I feel like I didn't do that first try the first time. I uh, failed this room, though. This one right here. I mean, it doesn't look that hard. I mean, it's not it's hard. hard. Oh yeah, here. This is where I got mixed up because there's actually there's only three Mega Koopas here, and you have to follow behind them when there's a gap in between them. That's where I messed up. Uh, uh, yeah. How the hell did you fail this? That's not hard. Like, literally, I, I, I thought I didn't I didn't realize there were three Mega Koopas. I thought there were four. <laughs> Ow. I don't know. Wait, am I supposed to go right or left? Uh, I think you're supposed to go up. Oh, great job, Paper Mario. <laughs> oh, you have to do the whole room again if you fall. Thank god the backup keepers are positioned correctly. Yeah, I love I love these platforms. They're gonna be really fun to deal with later on in uh, Neo Bowser. You know the ones, those platform. You know the jump tiles that are famous in 3D Mario games, where when you jump they switch. Uh, what the ones from Mario Galaxy 2? Yeah, they yeah. have a similar thing. Um, what it is is. Oh yeah, I remember. I, I remember. I played a bit of Neo Bowser. Like one of them is like you gotta press A, B, and Y at the same time, and the other one you gotta press X. <laughs> Yeah, it's really stupid. That is really weird. I mean, p pressing A, B, and Y at the same time is really uncomfortable. Oh, sneaky, f sneaky fly guys. Yeah, re real slick. Right. Oh yeah, they, they, there's this. Oh yeah. Okay. Somehow they got the Bowser statues to move. Yeah, how convenient. Uh, is this it? I think you're at the Am end. Am I done? Yeah. 
You just got a paper plane to him. I can't. No, you have to jump for it. Oh, you have to jump to him at like the right time. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. That was Apparently easy. The clown car weighs. Throwing the clown car doesn't weigh much either. It's just paper. It weighs as much as cotton candy. Yeah, that was easy. You got the. That is not the. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are... That is not the book. Haha. <laughs> <laughs> -ha. That is. I think, I like how this, like, they bring back the fact that Starlo doesn't like Bowser Jr. later. N not in this game, but in, uh, in Bowser's Inside Story, when you play the Bowser Jr. route, there's a bit where Bowser Jr. and Kamek walk by Mario, Luigi, and Starlo. Yeah. And, like, they're like, and they're like, he's not important right now, we gotta go, like, find, so like, the star here or something. And, and Bowser Jr. insults Starlo on the way out, and they just get into a quick little fight. <laughs> so that's just, that's just a running gag. Yeah, that's Bowser Jr. and Starla straight up don't not. Another enemies like these two straight up hate each other. <laughs> well, Bowser thought it was pretty funny. I feel like it's the clown car, the thing you should have had earlier. Yeah. Okay, this attack is in the car. Just remember Mario first, then Luigi. And I went back. <laughs> you messed up big time. What are you doing? Did you save? <laughs> yes, I did. I oh. wait. Did I? Are you trying to do a no damage run or something? No, it's just that I don't want. I I had it planned out, and then I completely fucked it up, and I'm I don't want to live with that. Oh, <laughs> I don't want to. Now I'm, that. but now I'm on the debate of did I save right before this? Uh, let's find out. <laughs> Please, for the love of God, tell me I saved. Okay, I saved. <laughs> Thank God. I was gonna freak out if you didn't. That would have been funny. So what time are we at? We're at we're at forty seven minutes. So yeah, with all the lag and and all that, you got to them faster than me, I think, because <laughs> I goofed off a bunch. Yeah, yeah that's with me fighting every. Because like back with Ludwig, you told me just to skip everything, which made me sad inside. Yeah, I, I mean you, you you fought most of the enemies, so that's good enough, I think. I fought everything before the dungeon. Once I got to the dungeon, you told me to stop. <laughs> well, hey, now that um. Well, here's my question. Do they go, like, in the, like, is it Bowser Jr. first? Um, nope. <laughs> okay, you know what? Whatever, just live with it. Oh my god, wait, did I not heal? I guess you're not healed up. Why is Mario at 38 HP? Honestly, I don't know. Tur <laughs> right, tur I remember turn him into a Goomba. If I remember correctly, uh, Bomb Derby just straight does not work with these two, so I am going to. Uh, yeah, you can use you can only use Rocket, and you can only use Drop Chopper and Drill Shell, and any Paper Move goes. I'm pretty sure. And then the funny thing about the Rocket is it doesn't do any damage, for some reason. <laughs> well, yeah, because weird. How much health do they have? Uh, about 800 each, I think. Actually, let me do something. Let me flip this over. Yeah, I got rid of the Goomba card. Flip that over. Use this. I'm gonna be loaded after this fight. Yeah, so much money. In that dick measuring contest about who has more money will pay off. I mean, if you can get the uh, if you can get the thirty thousand coins achievement before me, then yeah, then I'll give you credit. <laughs> you you have it. No. I have the, um, 12,000 coin challenge. Well, we already did the dick measuring contest before. <laughs> yeah, and I think you had, like, 2,000 more than me. Dude, he's, like, halfway dead. Wow. Also, if I remember correctly, these are the only boss- this is the only boss fight where they don't rage. Um... Do they? I don't think they rage. I think... And it's weird, because, like, the Kamek boss fight rages, but I don't think these guys do. 
Yeah, but that's probably because they revive each other constantly. Mechanics revive each other. Like, like they heal each other even if they're not dead. Oh. Wait, that also, is I think weird, the then. thing with Worthy Gig is that it only hits the part, it, only the parts where their head is exposed take ja take damage. The parts where it's just a clown card take zero. <laughs> weird. This is like the most OP uh, installment of the uh, of the clown card. So, yeah, no, it's yeah, well, yeah. Because usually every oh shit. <laughs> well, I let's see how much three. that does. I like almost dicked you over. Wait, I think the parts of the clown card do take damage. Nah, I am, maybe. A hundred each. Okay, this is like falls easy, I think. You really just hit it like as. Yeah, yeah I, I fucked this up a lot because I forgot how it works. Oh. <laughs> yeah, this is balls easy, you said. <laughs> I pressed that Y button. This is ridiculous. Right, how much damage is Mario gonna take? Now this is not. Hey, Mario doesn't. Oh, he lived with one. <laughs> he lives with one a with one HP. One. One HP. Give me that ultra. Give me that ultra stream right now. Oh God damn it. Oh yeah, right. It, this this attack cures their dizzy status. God damn it! God damn! It. <laughs> oh boy! All right, Paper Mario makes it out alive, I guess. Wait, no, but now Luigi's burned, bro. This is bullshit. And uh, now Mario's burned. This is bullshit. We got a refreshing herb. Refreshing herbs don't work on burn. They do. I thought they do. They don't. We established this, Jacob. You sure? <laughs> Try it. Fuck, fuck off. <laughs> yeah, see, it does work. I'm just... Actually, wait, let me just... Moon me? I'm just gonna constantly use these whenever I see these, because, like, this is just my whole deck. <laughs> I should be doing that some more, because I, I, I think, um... I need, I'm trying to get more, um, like, experience in coin cards. I just I just want, like, my... I just want my deck to be, like, entirely experience cards. Right, let's, 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 let's not fuck this up. <laughs> well, uh, so, much, so much for not fucking it up. Bro, this is bullshit. I'm pressing the Y button. Oh, right, no. I swear to God. Okay, at least you didn't get dizzy. I couldn't live with that. Hey, look, more experience. <laughs> hey, look. It's the, the blood in. The blood in. The. The blood, sweat, and tears of this fight. By the way, as far as I know, you only get double experience if both of the Bowser Juniors die at the same time. Wait, what? Oh, okay. I, at least he did 174. Hey, look, double experience. I, yeah, I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna... Here's like... Here's kind of awkward because there's two of them, so I don't bother with those kinds of cards. The crazy thing is that I was actually really close to getting it. <laughs> I, I think he's dead after this. Yeah, he should be. I This fight was like piss easy. 420? This, All fight, right, this fight was piss, piss easy for me. Because I had a lot of practice beforehand. Hey, look, you can turn Bowser Jr. into a Goomba. <laughs> I'm going to turn him into a kite. Oh, that's even better. Wait, does trio kite affect him? Yeah, it does. All the all the uh, trio attacks affect the Bowser Juniors. Yeah, but trio racket's the worst one, I think, because like I think the parts where it's just a clown card just don't do damage. Yeah, it's just kind of weird. I mean, it's kind of like how 
Trio Racket on Wiggler also sucks because the segments don't take damage either. <laughs> I also feel like the ball is magnituded to the segments. Oh yeah, for some reason. Alright. We just gotta hit him with four of them good ones and he's, and he's uh, about as dead as dead. He's as dead as butter. And he heals. Oh no, he has a one. Okay, oh wow. Bro, it's like a drop chopper. Oh, here's this easy attack. I like how there's only two of these in the whole game. Where's the other one at? Is it in the is it in the Lemmy, uh, Morton, and um, Iggy fight? Yeah, that's the only other time you see this. <laughs> and that and that's like a one and done fight. You don't fight that in the battle ring. Exactly. If, if I, I don't think Dry Bowser can uh, bring Lemmy, Morton, and the other one. No, they cannot. It's only the first four Fukuplings. So in my opinion, that makes um, in my opinion that makes the Iggy, Lemmy, and Morton fight the most forgettable boss fight in the entire game. Because it's a gimmick fight, and it's also a one-off. Yeah. But technically, technically, you can fight them as many times as you want because when you redo, because you know how all these games will have you redo the final boss. Like, mm. well, not redo, but like you can do it as many times as you want. No, I I, I booted up my save file and. I, I walk into that room and I just walk to the end of the hallway and I fight the Bowsers. They're, you don't refight them. No, I think you probably just fought them already. Because I think what happens normally is when you walk into that room, you can fight, refight like the Kooplings. And also those random cords of enemies they send you your way. Hmm. Oh, you fuck. Okay, so <laughs> they're like Amic 2 where they just heal them for fun. Yeah, and hello chat member. Yeah, this attack kind of annoyed me a while until I got the timing down, because Bowser Jr. doesn't hesitate, but the paper Bowser Jr. does like a- he does like a bit of a wind-up for the fireball. Which really annoyed me. But that's what makes the- that's what makes the counter-attacks in this game like some of the best in the entire series. Alright, uh, he, he's not dead because he healed him for 80. Oh yeah, my, my, are you talking about my infinite pit run? That went like, that went really shit. I died on floor 85. <laughs> oh, he's dead. Oh no, I tripped. Bro, fuck off, I just killed him. <laughs> oh, I'm back again. Dude, no lie, I literally, I just killed you. Well, at least Paper Mario's burned gone. Oh, that's probably why he revived him, because Paper Mario didn't get a turn. I always- wait, why the fuck is that? Oh yeah, you gotta move around him. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, what the <laughs> fuck is that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they do that in the rematch as well. Kind of annoying. So they try and kill a little normal Bowser Jr. now. Bro, I was sitting there and I was looking at that and I'm like, what the fuck is he doing? <laughs> I'm also hoping I get another good infinite pit run. Yeah! Bro, even if you hit it- I, okay, that time was kinda shit, but like... He's not dead, I don't think. Nope. I mean, no. <laughs> He's not dead yet. Okay, now hear me out. If you kill Bowser Jr., use the double experience card. <laughs> <laughs> he used the... I don't trust that. I'm... Yeah, no balls. Two... Well, that's the thing. I know... Here's the thing. I want to kill him first, because I... The thing is, I know how much health Bowser Jr. has. Yeah, Paper Bowser Jr. Has, like, he has like 200. 267. 267. You can kill him with a kite, right? No, I don't think it's a kite. Here's what I'll do. I I don't think it's the kite personally. So what I can do is I can do the kite and then I oh wait. And then I use both the, the coin and the other and the other card and then bam. Because I don't think this is I don't think this is a uh, kill oh this it's not even an excellent. 
Wow. I have not seen a grate in a while. That killed- oh, shit, it, it killed him anyways. I told you you should have done it. <laughs> Wait, it killed him? Yes. I didn't even hit him. Yeah, oh, he's shit, dead. Three three? What the hell? <laughs> you got unlucky. Oh my god, lucky, is that why? Yeah, you should have done it. <laughs> oh, the lucky fucked me. Yep. Alright, well, how much XP and money are we getting for this? 1100! <laughs> Was well, that bad? No, that's pretty good. I think I got like 900 or something. Well, I could be wrong. <laughs> yeah, I need I need Mouse, Goombella, or Flurry early for it to be a good run. And Bowser just walks in. Oh wait, no, it's Peach. Hey guys, you know what'd be a good thing to do right now? Grab the book. <laughs> Grab the book. Yeah, yeah, you know. You know, you can give me Sims later, but you Wait, know, you can, you know, like you know, Luigi. You know, you, Luigi. Well, Luigi gets a win later. I think both princesses kiss him later. I know that. Also, why do they get a sad memory scene? Do they just straight up die? Yeah, they straight up die. I thought they, but they, they still talk, or it's like, whatever. No, they die. Here comes Bower. Yeah. <laughs> they remove level up bonuses. Wait, you didn't know that? <laughs> yeah, they're not dead, bro. Wow, it turns red. <laughs> I mean, that's still pretty cool. You know, I never noticed the detail of, like, those, like, little bits of rock that fall. Yeah, that is a pretty cool detail. Even though there's no rock energy at the castle, so, like, what the fuck? <laughs> also, I like how this is the third game in the series to, to use the flying castle. Um... So, Superstar Saga... So, Superstar Saga, Dream Team, and Paper Jam? Yeah, and this, and... It's worse now because it's also because it's also called a Neo Bowser Castle in Dream Team. Yeah. Oh, oh here's, shit. Oh, here's bullshit. the oh, here's bullshit. the Starlow teeth cut scene. Yeah, this is bullshit. <laughs> I remember Charlie's video. Both him and Popple's <laughs> video went. Oh bullshit. <laughs> bullshit. And then he gets charmed to death. So why is it like set up like an established bit that Starlo has perfect teeth? I don't think that is a bit. That's just something they kind of came up with. <laughs> They're like, hey man, your teeth are beautiful. Oh, Neil, yeah, Bowser, Neil Bowser Castle, but good. What do you, which Neil Bowser Castle you prefer, this one or the Dream Team one? I I think the Dream Team one's better still. I love the music in you that one what? more. Is that it? Is it just the music for you? The, the layout is whatever? Well, and also the vibe is just cooler. Plus, it has all the cool dream sequences and all that. And I just love Honestly, it. I, I, I think the thing I like about the dream team on the most is that... You have, like, this... You have, like, this straight shot to the end of the of the castle. Bro, your mic keeps cutting out. Fuck you, Discord. <laughs> nah, 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 wait, wait, but... You wanna, you, you wanna hear something I don't like about the dream team? Uh, thing. What? All the fucking Kamek fights you have to do. Oh yeah, the chat member just brought that up. You gotta fight Cody three times. <laughs> I know. Like, the last one is cool and ever. Like, I like the last one where he splits into different colors, even though I did not know Cody could do that. Yeah. But, like, I, I feel like that fight's kind of a bitch. And also, like, the fact you have to fight him three times is like... The last one was enough. You did not need to fight Cody three times. <laughs> like, that's been, like... That's some, like, sticker star flip-flop bullshit. The <laughs> flip-flop bullshit. Also, my favorite thing about this cutscene is the Goomba in the middle. <laughs> yeah, the favorite... Did I not hit this block already? No, these these <laughs> these, these, block, these these are, like, new blocks for some reason. Yeah, oh yeah, the castle gets destroyed. These blocks are now replaced with better blocks. Yep. Alright, I'm gonna buy some gear and then we can can it. Actually, wait. Wait, oh, god damn it. What do you mean, god damn it? it there's a cutscene. 
Also, missed opportunity to have a little detail that there's just like a ray of sunlight in the center because there's a hole at the top of the castle. I have an idea. <laughs> you sure you don't want to make any other progress in this episode? I'm. Sh isn't this where you are and Aaron are? Yeah, but you know, if you made a bit of extra progress, I wouldn't mind. So you don't have to do any catch up. Also, you got the best trio attack in the game. Hooray! Yay! And the only trio attack that, that is dependent on how many uh, clones you have. Yeah, which makes it really cool. Which means it's exceptionally OP when you have 10 copies. I know, but I also find it weird that it's the only one that, like, because like, the whole gimmick of Paper Mario is that you spawn clones. So the fact that only one of his attacks, like, changes depending on how many clones you have is kind of weird to me. I also find it weird that he only gets five trio attacks and not, like, six, like the bros do. Do the bros get six? They do. Uh, let me think. Mar so Mario gets 3D sure. red shell. He get no, they get five. 3D red shell, rocket, drop chopper, that cannonball, and then tow trail. Oh, okay. Maybe I'm misremembering. Also, I thought you got the cannonball by the time you fought the charging chucks. Yeah, you do not get the cannonball for a long time. Because I, I still you don't got have it. it. Yeah, I thought you got it sooner. Actually, if I remember correctly, I think the cannonball might be optional. But where is it? <laughs> you know, I I'm, do not remember. You know what? Time to look it up. Because I feel like we should have had it by now. Alright, uh, I'm going to do a small little dick measuring contest. Let's just see. <laughs> dick measuring contest. Yeah, I, think it's called, right. I think it's called Cannonball Chuck. How much money do I have? Mm. 24,000. 24, yeah, damn, you, you are going to get that before me then. How much do you have? Um, I don't know. I guess I'll let you know when I play the game again. Um. Also, I just want to say that's bullshit. I have 35k. I should have more money. <laughs> Na it's in the mission called du Navit Duplication. It is the sixth mission of Dupe Dupe Dunes. Well, when the fuck does that happen? When does that I happen think, in the we, story? Wait, are we, are we supposed to go back to Doob Doob Dunes? Uh, maybe? Okay, neither of these are worth it. When does that even happen in the story? Well, let's see, are either... Oof. Oof. I don't think either of these are worth it, personally. What's not worth it? Snareware? Yeah. Oh, Look I, at these. I actually bought the Snareware. <laughs> Yeah, no, but I don't think minus 20 health and minus 25 defense are worth this. Mm, they're worth it to me, because I like speed and pow. <laughs> but you do you. And then the VIP wear is even worse. Yeah, VIP, so VIP wear sucks. Or metal wear sucks. I might buy the snare wear just because I haven't bought a piece of gear in a while. Honestly, I just don't know if it's worth it. For Mario, it might be good. Just be oh, better just at dodging. Compare Paper Mario's. Holy shit, if I do this, Paper Mario's gonna have worse... Paper Mario's about to have better defense. Wait, oh, wait. Yeah, holy shit, if I... Paper Mario's about to have better defense than both of the bros if I buy the fucking snareware. Um, yeah, it says, after falling off Mount Burr, the team arrives in Doop Doop Dunes and can optionally encounter Nabbit two more times. So, wait. So are we supposed? Are you to... telling me that? Wait, we're... did we miss it? You know what? You should go to Doop Doop Dunes <laughs> and check. Did we like fucking miss it? I thought I'm about to buy a shit ton of Ultra Shrooms real quick. I think that was way more than you'll ever need, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then I'm gonna buy a bunch of Ultra Syrups too because. How many refreshing herbs do you have? None. You need to buy some. I'm gonna be real. I have not bought mushrooms or syrups this whole playthrough. Well, yeah, well, I'm kind of scarce on them, so actually, I'm, I'm, I'm not gonna buy boot biscuits. Yeah, you're not gonna you're not gonna do the expert challenges like me. Yeah, I don't need them. Oh, but there might we... there might be oh. good cards. Uh, do they have new cards? Oh, they do. Oh yeah, yeah. Get that one. That one's so good. That's, I'll that's, buy it. I oh, guess. That one's OP as hell. I never buy herbs. Oh, you, they're good though. 
because status is actually suck in this game. Oh shit. Grass twice the XP and coins when you <laughs> defeat an enemy. Yeah. Yeah, you you know the drill, just give that one to me right now. The shuffles all the oh useless. That, that one sucks. I, I used it and I was like, bro, this sucks. <laughs> Wait, why would you ever? I don't know. Alright, so the one that right, pulls the, the, the one that I'll pulls three this. new cards is good though. Alright, this will be the last thing I do. Look, I'm gonna go to Doob Doob Dooms and figure out if we popped up. Yeah, and then I guess that's what I'll do in the next episode. Wait, and... actually, can I go to Doob Doob Dooms? Yeah, you can. You gotta you gotta go to the Lakitu Center, and there's a pipe there. What do you mean? Like grab? Oh, that's right, the Lakitu Center. Yeah. Wait, wait, wait. I, 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 I was sat there. Cause... Wait, did we pass Miss Cannonball? Like, we had. Oh my fucking god, we could have had it. We could have had it since, like, when we went to Charging Chucks. So, yeah, we might have just dead ass missed it. Holy shit, did we? Is the one that lowers enemies' levels accessible? I think so. Also, there's some oh, beans yeah, you know, missed. On... Yeah, two coins on the most useless bean. There it is. Alright. Alright, let's go to Doop Doop Dooms, I guess. Alright, I'm gonna check Toad Town first, just in case. Um... Not a lot this one, definitely. Actually, no, I have an Amiibo card to sell, hold up. <laughs> I love how Amiibo I cards are just, like, actually useless. Cause I, can't well, yeah, even, cause, cause I can't even get them to work on emulator. You don't have any cards. I think I have a level 2 one. Yeah, it's like 800 free ones, yeah. Oh, yeah. Alright. So, <laughs> you, you have- th there's a- there's a benefit to not having amiibos. Yeah, well, I sell them even if. What even happens if you use amiibo cards, like, legitimately? You get special effects. Like, I think amiibo cards are, like, part of the best way to grind in this game. Huh. Interesting. There's like an amiibo card that gives you like really good XP, so you just do that. Wait, I think this is it. Is that the guy? Mario, Luigi, other Mario, thank goodness. Remember that thing? Oh, yep. Yeah. Imagine needing amiibo cards. Yeah, so we did miss this dead ass. Wait, but when can you do this? It, it, you can get it just before the charging chucks. Holy shit, how far it- Wait, how long has it been since we did Charging Chucks? Um. Well, it was after the Wiggler fight, I know that. It wasn't that- After the Wiggler fight, I mean, it was- So it, it was- after the paper, It was after the Paper Peach Battlecraft. Yeah. I mean, Papercraft. So, it was before Charging Chucks, which it was which was also before the Twinsy Tropics Dungeon re revisit, where we fought um, Larry and Ludwig, and then the entirety of Bowser's Castle. So we could have had it for a long time. Yeah, we have not- we have- I, I'm sorry, I feel weird though, because I, I visited the Toad Town, why didn't I do this? I didn't- I didn't know this was a thing either in Toad Town. Did you- wait, but did you visit the Toad Town? Because I know I didn't. I might have, I don't remember. Wait, are you the correct one? Oh, this, this is obnoxious. <laughs> and it's timed. I might need to replace this music with something better. <laughs> well, you've, haven't you, like, changed the mod pack? I, 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 I have updated some of the songs if you want them. I don't know if you want Wait, them. Is this the real one? Oh shit, that was the real one. <laughs> Junior Troopa. You know what? The Junior Troopa battle theme would be perfect for this. Oh, I'm thinking that's gonna be ear grading. <laughs> Dude, what's are wrong? The, what's wrong with the, the Junior Troopa one? battle theme? Now well, here's my question. Are you the correct one? <laughs> Let's find out. Oh yeah, oh, you're it was. Not the one. Yeah, there's cannonball I chucks. So, I, th I don't think you can use this with the Bowser Juniors, though, so I think even then we were still just stuck with the rocket. I think it works on the Bowser Juniors. 
I don't know, bro. I'll test it in the battle arcade real quick. Oh yeah, you can do that. Yeah, because we can just go to the battle arcade. I'll save the game, too. Bro, oh. I can't believe we went through a whole chunk of this game and we missed it. I, now I'm worried the save's just gonna happen with Balloon Burst. I mean, the, the, the crazy part is that I actually did miss Balloon Burst in my Paper Jam playthrough back in the day. Well, here's the good thing. The good thing is we know where it is. Like, we know that it's in East Gloomy Woods, so when we go there... Yeah. Oh, we're gonna have to wait for these guys to do their fucking attack first. <laughs> by the way, I beat. By the way, I beat these guys at the end of my last episode without taking damage. <laughs> well, you got one of them. Balloon burst. I don't know if it's good because I've never used it. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. It also has a cool animation. It's not basic. Wait, what? Oh yeah, they get two turns now. Anyway, it's time to fly. Wow, you suck at flying, bro. Bro, bro I'm not gonna be able to test it because Mike's gonna be dead. Well, he was dizzy anyway, so it didn't matter. <laughs> Maybe test it on PD Prawn or something instead. Hmm. <laughs> now I have to test it on these guys. Oh, you, oh, you wanted? To, oh, you want to see if like it works on them, right? I'm stupid. Yeah, I want to figure out if I can like hit them with it. Well, you can try it Just again. If it, if it doesn't work, then I can maybe test it on my own time. Nah, it's fine. It should, I just need to fucking... But here's my thing, though. Does, who attacks first? Uh, the one who points first. Oh, also, this that's a fake out. I'm, no. I'm, I'm, I'm amazed that I beat this without taking damage. <laughs> Why? Because you're watching. Because you're just watching this back, and you're like, "Holy shit, this is a pain in the ass." No, I, I had a lot of practice for the Bowser Jr. fight on my 3DS, so I got really good at it. And I, I okay, well, I, I, I lied. I got hit once, but I still got an S rank somehow. So that's all I really cared about. I was gonna say, do they not give up or something? Because I have been doing. They got a third attack. I mean, it goes for longer. Alright. Alright, oh, Cannonball Chuck. Let's we'll see if Cannonball Chuck works. But we could have had this for the Charging Chuck fight, the Larry and Ludwig fight. There's so many fights we could have yeah. had this for. Alright, let's we'll see if it works. I missed. Oh, I missed. You know what, fuck it. You know what, Jacob, fuck it. Just, I, I saved, right? Yeah, you saved. <laughs> yeah, I sa uh, fuck it. I saved. You test this on your own time. Yeah, I'll have to test it on my own. <laughs> well, now to wait like actually, now, now to wait like actually, two yeah, weeks. Just look, up a, just look up a YouTube video. What YouTube video? Just look up a YouTube video of someone fighting Bowser Jr. and see if they use Cannonball. Mm, that's not a bad idea. That yeah, saves you the hassle. I mean, I have my my complete save file. I could test it out on there. Oh yeah, sure, go for it. Uh, I'll test it. I'll let you know. But anyways, guys, that was uh, Paper Jam for today. Uh, Paper Jam is going to go on hiatus for a while because we can't do it this weekend. So we have to wait till like the 26th, I think, to do it. Unless we could do it like... Actually, you know what? No. Let's do it on like the 23rd or something because Aaron's free on Tuesdays. So we could totally do it on Tuesday again. So that way we don't have to wait a, like a week and a half. I think that'd be a good idea. All right, well, okay. I'll, see, I'll see you, man. See ya. Went to go jack off. Anyways, guys, um, later tonight, I might do some Neptunia if I'm bored, which I probably will be. So I'll probably do it in, like, I don't know, um, an hour, maybe. <laughs> Cannonball Chuck after Bomb Derby. That is kind of wild. All right, well, um, I'll see you guys uh, in, like, an hour. I'm going to go... Uh, we're gonna, t gonna do a test out that cannonball chuck thing, and then I'm also probably gonna like maybe make make a little something to eat. I'm not sure. So yeah, see you guys then.